What just My happened? My job! What's up, guys? Rockman here, and we are back with another song with Mr. Andy Love. He had two awesome releases in the past, like, week or so, so we were catching up on both at the same time. And, okay, Kepler. So this one came out a little bit before the last song we just listened to. Um, their single, Straight Line. So, Andy, tell me a little bit about this one. So this one, I won't spoil the, the song, but as you know with Kepler, what they tend to do is they have that girly persona, you know, sometimes it's a little bit twice, um, uh, but it's definitely not Esper or, you know, the darker kind of more urban acts. But what Kepler does is they mix and match completely different styles mm -hmm. into one song. So, you know, you think it's going in one place and then it does a complete U-turn and you're in a whole new territory. And that's what I really enjoy. I've, I've written a couple of songs for Kepler. Um, but this one is very much that. Mm. And it starts off with a kind of old school, like 90s throwback TLC um, mm. vibe. And then it goes somewhere completely different. I won't obviously spoil it. But yeah, it was a really, really fun song to write. Um, with uh, I wrote it with a girl called uh, Jessica, G Jessica Jean, um, who is amazing. And um, yeah, we, uh, we had a good time doing this one. Awesome. Yeah, you got me all excited to hear that change. Yeah, I... I remember Kepler, when I first saw them, I was at KCON in LA, like two or three years ago, I forget. And they were actually amazing live. I was actually really surprised because I had no, yeah before that, I had no knowledge of like their music and stuff like that, but they killed it live. The fans went insane for them. I was actually shocked. And then when they walked by me, they were like so little. They were like tiny, like really tiny. Maybe it's just because I'm really tall, but as a group, they just felt really, really little. And I was like, holy cow, they were on stage and just like killed it. And then I see them off stage and there's these tiny girls. Um, all right, let's check this out. Well, this, this rock, this is their apparently last album with oh. CJ because as CJ is this big sort of mainly TV company, they get brought in to do their thing whilst they're under kind of, it's like a, if you imagine a sports, like a soccer player, he goes on loan with another, another team, right? And it's like a year or two year loan. And then they go back to their oh. old club. This is what kind of Kepler have done. And I believe this is their last album with CJ uh, until they go back to their previous label. So who knows what's going to happen, but I'm super happy to be on their, their very last album. So um, oh, wow. yeah, it's a good one. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Yeah, and that makes sense. I didn't think about that. Uh, I didn't realize that they would do that with like music acts. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, Zero Base One is another example. You know, they've they've having their time under CJ, and then they'll go back and do their thing. I think it's they come from um, oh. various talent talent shows. You know, that CJ scoop up the rights and um, oh. and then produce the albums, and they've done an amazing job. Yeah, that makes sense. Awesome. Okay, that's that's really interesting to know. I didn't know that. Let's take a listen, man. Uh, okay, you ready? Yeah. A little glitched guitar. Oh, that's like a digital guitar. It's like every 90s song, right? Yeah. Mm, I love the throwback stuff. Yeah, me too. Turn this up. Oh. What the? <laughs> Curveball! <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. Like you said. And back to 90s. Yeah. Oh, and now it's... Yeah, multiple Right? Genres. With the twice chorus. Wow. Oh. <laughs> what on earth? I, this it's really fun. This is fun, yeah. Really fast percussion in this. Yes. It's like aggressive and sweet at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, that's Ke that's exactly how you describe Kepler. It's yeah. You hit it on the head. Oh, it's like it's like Girls' Generation push here. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, but where's it going? Oh. Wow, so many changes. Woo. Of course, 90s hip hop. <laughs> And it, it just smooths right back into the hook. How many songs have we just listened to? <laughs> like seven. What just My happened? My job! Oh, it's still going. Boom. Just like the other one. Oh, hang on. They formed into a diamond. Oh. Where's it going? To a different genre of music. <laughs> <laughs> That's not possible. We've just covered all of them in a song. Yo, Amazing. Yeah. Okay. What's your take on it again? <laughs> that was ele elegantly crazy. Elegantly crazy, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm shocked that it went from point A to point B and then went to that chorus and it worked. Right. And that's the most changes I've heard in a Kepler song from the songs that I've heard. But that was great, honestly. Each yeah. section on its own is really fun, and then that chorus really brings it together. I mean, how, what was your experience working with this crazy of a production? Well, the production, the beat was the beat. So it was like, it's not like we had anywhere to hide, you know? It was like, there it is. This is what we want. Um, and we're like, okay, you know, we'll get, we're going to give it our best shot. Um, but, you know, I, I love those kind of, especially the TLC, Destiny's Child kind of melodies. I think it's so, it's, it's girly, but it's strong, independent vibes, you know, and, and I like that. And I, I did them with, together with Jess. We just kind of went back and forth until we were both happy. Um, but like you say, going from that to like the pre and then into the kind of twice chorus and then into the post which is like da 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 you know like a showgirls thing yeah. it was um it was fun to it was fun to write it wasn't easy uh there were a couple of revisions but um yeah it was uh the end result like you said what, what how did you put it elegantly crazy <laughs> Elegantly but crazy, but that's fun. it. I mean, look, you, their song Wada Da and, and Up and all of this, a lot of their songs have like really yeah. surprising elements. So I guess they're yeah. carrying on the tradition of that. Yeah, Wada Da, I absolutely love that. That was actually one of the like the yeah. early songs that got me into like female groups. That song is amazing. So who'd you write this song with? Uh, I wrote it with uh, Jess, um, Jess, Jessica Jean. Um, oh, Jessica Jean, that's right. She yeah. has done quite quite a lot for Kepler, yeah. Um, and she's just brilliant. She's full of energy, crazy ideas. Um, yeah, she's a, she's a great writer. Awesome. So were you guys in the room, or did you guys work remotely when you worked on this one? No, she. we were working remotely in time. She is in the Philippines. Oh. So as you can imagine, the time zone was kind of crazy. So it was, it was hard to work together on zoom so what we do when there's crazy time zones is she'll do a take i will then take her take and keep some of the parts which i like try and improve the parts which i think are lacking then back again you know i'll throw it to her she'll do a few tweaks send back it was about like we swapped it over about five times before we were both super happy the hardest part was getting to that chorus um, because it was such a, a strange jump. But um, yeah, on the second time we nailed it. Yeah, that's... It's very like, um, I mean, it's kind of disco inspired. It's a yeah. bit Dua Lipa, right? That chorus? Yeah, yeah, I can see that, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, I, yeah, I, we did really good on that one. Really yeah. happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's very impressive to have circled as far around as you did and come back, but it's still together. That, that's probably a really fun song live too, I bet. I think it just got, the album got released very recently um, and it's the Japanese album um, oh, it's Japanese. for Kepler. And this, this was obviously the single. Uh, the album's done really, really well. And I've just been told I've got another one which is gonna be with Straight Line on the Career album. Mm. Um, which is up and coming. So that one is going to be their last Korean album with CJ. Um, oh. As we mentioned before, 
after this, I think their contract expires and then they're going to go do what they're going to do. So um, mm -hmm. super happy to be part of uh, their last album. And they've yeah. had some killer albums with, um, with CJ. Awesome. Well, dude, thank you again. We got two songs out of you today. And, uh, oh, he's I hope gone! I hope to check out more music with you <laughs> later, because I'm sure everybody loves to hear of your process and what, what it goes through for you to make these songs and, and information on these. So, yeah, thanks again, man. I really appreciate it. Well, Andy, all right, everybody, since we had a connection issue, Andy just called me, and I just wanted to say thank you, dude, for uh, hanging out with everybody and talking about your music, and uh, everybody, I'm sure, really appreciates it. Of course, man. You're more than welcome. It's a pleasure. And um, hopefully I'll be back soon with a couple more songs for you. Yeah, let's do it. And I know the fans are going to love to hear from you again. So thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Of course, mate. All right. Take it easy. See ya. Sorry about some of the connection issues we had today. It's part of the uh, connectivity of long distance working together. And it's definitely not easy doing that with reaction videos. But awesome to have Andy on. He's so amazing. He's done so many amazing songs. I will put his information here. Go follow him, go check out his other music, and I'll see you guys later.